Meghan Markle and Harry sue UK tabloid as they stand up to ruthless privacy intrusion. The pair have started legal action against the Mail on Sunday newspaper over allegedly misusing private information. In a long statement by the Duke of Sussex published online, Prince Harry said his wife had become one of the latest victims of a British tabloid press. In the statement, Prince Harry referenced his mother, Princess Diana, and said his deepest fear is history repeating itself. He wrote, I've seen what happens when someone I love is commoditized to the point that they are no longer treated or seen as a real person. I lost my mother and now I watch my wife falling victim to the same powerful forces. Prince Harry claimed a ruthless campaign that has escalated over the past year had been launched against his wife throughout her pregnancy and while raising our newborn son. He wrote, Up to now, we have been unable to correct the continual misrepresentations something that these select media outlets have been aware of and have therefore exploited on a daily and sometimes hourly basis. The Duke of Sussex said, There comes a point when the only thing to do is to stand up to this behavior, because it destroys people and destroys lives. He wrote, I cannot begin to describe how painful it has been. He added, It is for this reason we are taking legal action a process that has been many months in the making. The positive coverage of the past week from these same publications exposes the double standards of this specific press pack that has vilified her almost daily for the past nine months. They have been able to create lie after lie at her expense simply because she has not been visible while on maternity leave. She is the same woman she was a year ago on our wedding day just as she is the same woman you've seen on this Africa tour. Prince Harry said he had been a silent witness to her private suffering for too long. To stand back and do nothing would be contrary to everything we believe in, he wrote. Commenting on the legal action, the Duke of Sussex added, the contents of a private letter were published unlawfully in an intentionally destructive manner to manipulate you, the reader, and further the divisive agenda of the media group in question. In addition to their unlawful publication of this private document, they purposely misled you by strategically omitting select paragraphs, specific sentences, and even singular words to mask the lies they had perpetuated for over a year. The statement added, put simply, it is bullying, which scares and silences people. We all know this isn't acceptable, at any level. We won't and can't believe in a world where there is no accountability for this. Prince Harry finished the statement by writing, we thank you, the public, for your continued support. It is hugely appreciated. Although it may not seem like it, we really need it. Law firm Shillings, who are representing the Duchess of Sussex, said she had filed a claim over the misuse of private information, infringement of copyright and breach of the Data Protection Act 2018. A legal spokesperson from Shillings said, We have initiated legal proceedings against the Mail on Sunday and its parent company Associated Newspapers, over the intrusive and unlawful publication of a private letter written by the Duchess of Sussex, which is part of a campaign by this media group to publish false and deliberately derogatory stories about her, as well as her husband. Given the refusal of Associated Newspapers to resolve this issue satisfactorily, we have issued proceedings to redress this breach of privacy infringement of copyright and the aforementioned media agenda. The legal proceedings have been privately funded by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Depending on the court ruling, proceeds from any damages will be donated to an anti-bullying charity.